Good morning everyone, welcome to another video Forgive my appearance, I've only had like 2 hours of sleep because right now I have to get up, it's already 3.18 I need to eat before the start of my fasting because we fast from sunrise to sundown I have to stop eating and drinking liquids in case you're not aware of what Ramadan is So yeah, this is our number 1 Welcome to another video and welcome to my journey in Ramadan in UK So I'm gonna start with sahur right now and this is my sahur Yep, this is my sahur. My wife is not fasting today, which is why I'm eating some leftovers. Otherwise, I'm sure she will cook for me. <laughs> so, yeah, this is some leftovers from our dinner just now. Uh, some Turkish kebab. Not sure whether it's still good. Yeah, still good. Yeah, enough talking. Let's start eating because it's already 3.20. Cheers! Meal was okay, not bad. The kebab was good. So yeah, uh, it's already 3.34. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get my ablution, which is wudu. And then I'm going to pray my fajr or morning prayers. And then I'm going to sleep again until morning. And then we'll see what happens. Hi, ma'am. It's currently 11.06 a.m. The temperature outside is 11 degrees Celsius. And minimum temperature is 7 degrees Celsius. And maximum temperature. We are going to do some work right now even though it's a bank holiday today because my customers are not based in the UK so yeah, I still have to do some work for them but it's going to be quick because only in just a few emails I have to reply and then that's it. Done with work, time to go shopping. So it is 1.17 which is nearing hour number 10. And I'm feeling good. We are still walking right now and we're gonna get a bus to get into the city to go to Oxford Circus because we're gonna do some shopping. Not supposed last to do some one. last minute shopping because we're gonna go back to Malaysia in two weeks time. Uh, so we gotta get some souvenirs and stuff. But yeah, feeling good. Not thirsty, not hungry. You okay? Ah, you're, you're not fasting. No. <laughs> is no. Thank you. So we actually stopped earlier at Piccadilly Circus and not Oxford Circus because when you're in a bus you can make that decision. And it's actually faster to get here with a tube from our house but we prefer the bus because the bus is nicer, it's more comfy and you get to see a lot of things on the way and we're not rushing for time anyway. The tube is just faster but that's it. So yeah. So yeah, we're back home right now, just finished our shopping. Uh, plenty of things we bought, but it's just shopping, so that's why I skipped the whole thing. But yeah, I did my Asa prayer already. Important thing for Muslim during Ramadan is not just to do the fast, but to also do your obligation. Like for example, the five times a day prayer, you have to still fulfill that. Because otherwise, what's the point of fasting if you're not going to do your obligations, right? Feeling strong as well, did some push-ups. Ramadan is not an excuse for me to go lazy. I think I'm going to be healthy and uh, active throughout this whole Ramadan. Uh, not gonna skip gym if possible. And it's, what time is it right now? <laughs> See, 7 o'clock. And that means the breaking of us should be around 1 hour and 30 minutes from now. Not feeling hungry at all, slightly thirsty but I'm okay. So actually it's not that bad. Initially I thought I would suffer because I did a trial run the other day and I, and I felt really hungry but maybe that's probably because I did not do the sahur. So yeah, I think it, it is doable. Um, back home in Malaysia, the fasting is used to be just 12 to 13 hours, which is quite easy. But here, 17 hours, it sometimes stretches to 19 hours. So right now, it's sunrise at 3.40 to sunset at 8.20, which is fine. 
So we're gonna break fast in a while and after that we're gonna go to the masjid. Hopefully I can take you guys along to see the Tarawih prayers which is the uh, Sunnah prayers. Sunnah prayers are essentially voluntary prayers that you can do but it is highly recommended. Uh, and we usually do about eight raka over here, which is the eight um, the eight iteration of the movements, followed by three witir. The witir prayers here is a bit interesting. It's three all together. It's not two and then followed by one. It's three all together without any sitting in between. This is something that the Muslims would find interesting. Ah, can't wait for buka puasa. But for now, I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Yeah, look at what wife has cooked. So good. And she's gonna eat salad. Only salad? Woo. This is fishy fishy. Ah. Okay, makan dulu. قال أأقررتم وأخذتم على ذلكم إصري 